Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not Cause the drinks bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back, memories bring back your There's a time that I remember And I did not know no pain When I believed you forever Everything will stay the same now my heart feel like December When somebody say your name Cause I can't reach out to call you I know I will one day yeah. Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday yeah, yeah. Everything gon' be alright Gonna raise a glass and say hey. Here's to the ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here But you're not cause the dreams bring back up while waiting for everyone, I would like to announce the calendar of activities for the 21st Araw ng Sibugay. So, this is a week-long activity. So, for February 22 to 26, we have Invitational Basketball Tournament at Capitol Auditorium. For today, we had a Thanksgiving Mass, and then we have the Departmental Fellowship. And today, of course, we're going to have the TikTok Dance. Tomorrow, we will be having a motorcade from Capital Side to Epil Downtown, back to Capital Side, to Sibugay Bike Park here also in Capital Side. And then we have the fourth off-road modified duathlon. On the 25th, we have the third Kaguk Mountain Marathon start to finish at Capital Side through Timalang Maasin route. On February 26 at 6 a.m., we have the Cross Country Extreme MTB Race. Start and finish at Capital Site. Again, route through Timalang, Maasin, Labe. And then we have the Sibugay Loop Endurance V2 Quest. Start and finish here at Capital Site. And then at 1 p.m., we have the Cross Country Olympics Short Track MTB Race here at Sibugay Bike Park, Capital Site. Again, calling everyone to please join us here at the podium for we are about to start our program. To our beloved Governor, Attorney Walter Ya Palma, Vice Governor, Attorney Ray Andre Oligario, Board Members, Distinguished Guests, of course, we have Attorney Mario Ziti Kunfi, the Assistant Regional Director, Visitors, civil servants, and all of our fellow Sibuganos, a pleasant afternoon. In the past couple of years, due to the pandemic, we are not able to do quite a lot of activities in celebration for our funding anniversary. As we slowly transition to the new normal, with the strong efforts of our government to have everyone vaccinated, hopefully next year, we will be able to showcase more of our province-rich culture abundant resources, and talents. This afternoon, as we celebrate our 21st Iron and Sibugay, we will also be giving an award, the awarding of the Presidential Linkud Bayan to our very own Provincial Governor, Attorney Walter Yap Palma. The Presidential Linkud Bayan is an award given to an elected official for their exceptional and extraordinary contribution resulting from an idea or performance that had national impact on public interest, security, and patrimony. Of course, this afternoon, we will also be having our very first TikTok dance contest. So this afternoon, be entertained and be old with our very own talents. 
To start with, I would like to ask everyone to please rise for a doxology, followed by the Philippine National Anthem and then the Sibugay Hymn. You may now take your seats. Thank you. (laughs) 
Now, I would like to call on Attorney Mar Mario City Contain, the Assistant Regional Director of the Civil Service Commission Region 9, for his, uh, for his message before the awarding. Thank you. A round of applause, please. Thank you very much. I did not know I was going to give a message. But good afternoon, everyone, especially to the Honorable Governor Wilker Palma. Good afternoon, sir. To Vice Governor Ray Andre Oligario. Good afternoon. And to all of us, Sibugaynons, happy araw ng Sibugay. I must start with an apology because, as you notice, this award should have been given to the to the Honorable Governor in 2020 yet, but as our MC earlier said, uh, because of our challenging times, we are not able to gather for this momentous occasion, but it's never too late to do so. So this afternoon, we are going to hand out our regional award to the Honorable Governor, our Presidential Lingkod Bayan Regional Awardee, in the 2020 search for outstanding government workers, may I now call on the Honorable Governor to join me on stage so that we can finally award this um, prestigious recognition from the Civil Service Commission. May I request... Mrs. Nelson Lasso to please join us here. Department heads as well, please come forward. All right. So we'll have first the governor and uh, attorney Kunting and Ma'am Nelson Lasso. And then to be followed by, of course, the board members, the vice governor, attorney Ray Andre Oligario. And of course, we are also requesting the board members to please join the governor as he receives, receives the award. And then after, the department heads. Kung gamay rata, pwede rata magdungan tanan. Department heads, please join us here. Thank you so much. And now let's hear a message from our very own Governor Attorney Walter Yap Palma. A round of applause, please. Attorney Kunting, fellow workers in government, Vice Governor. Oligario, uh, our very own board members, board member Jajuri, uh, board member Mrs. Jajuri, and I think Belia Javier, uh, sino pa? Hindi uh, ko na kita, pasensya na mo. My co-employees, mayang hapon ka na itong tanan. I was just informed that uh, I'll be receiving my Presidential Lingkod Bayan Award 
for 2020. 2021, that was because that's 2020 ang assessment, Anna. And, uh, you know, uh, I was so happy and was so, uh, the fruits of our labors finally paid off. In my 15 years as public servant, uh, six years as mayors, as mayor of Diplahan, and, uh, Nine years as governor, uh, nakita na nato ang mga pagsakripisyo nato. And I was not expecting this because uh, let me uh, give you a brief background why I entered politics. Uh, it was the last term of Mayor Eric and uh, he was having a problem whom to uh, succeed and my or our family talk to my wife if I would be willing and available to run for mayor Salumsud sa Diplahan. To cut the story short, uh, wala yun musugot ang akong wife no? because uh, uh, we were enjoying our life as a private individual on ya walay pressure and uh, nindot po dang akong practice sa as a lawyer dito sa Cebu and uh, it was already October uh, three days before the last filing date in 20 07 and uh, si Eric was already worried that uh, kinsa amo puli sa iya ha. and uh, finally uh, they talk my family talked to my wife and asked her for one term and finally on the last day uh, she considered nga okay Pwede ka, pwede kumadagan for as long as kumakadaog o saragid ka termino. So that was the concession nga di uh, sabutan. And I filed my certificate of candidacy and the rest is history. Uh, but in 2013, on 2010, I was elected, re-elected. Dapat one term ng Gitsya. Pero, I don't know. Kung saan nahitabo. In 2013, uh, for me to have a valid and good reason, I filed my certificate of candidacy as governor. Kay kasigurado magiging ko nga mapildi ko ato. Who am I as against my worthy opponent? Uh, Governor Romel Halosos. Uh, but then again, ang ako unta to, na ako ay graceful exit from the public service and go back to my law practice and at the same time manage my construction business because I was doing well in my construction business in Cebu. But uh, luckily, nakadaog ko and then, mana ni karon ang kagaw sa politika nagpabilin nga dili na matangtang. So, mana na ron. I am on my last term. I'll end my term on June 30, 2022. I thought nga, pahuay na. Pero, natakda na sa kagaw, wala na. So, I filed my certificate of candidacy also for congressman in the first district puli kang Sharky niya, siya na po na magpuli sa kuadre. I was not expecting this. And niabot yung panahon nga uh, bitagaan ta o award and recognition by the Civil Service Commission as presidential awardee for Region 9. And uh, ang tanan na itong sakripisyo nagbunga and I'm so thankful sa akong mga co-employees, sa akong mga co-partners, uh, 
first from the legislative, of course, Vice Governor Oligario and the rest of the board members. Without them, I could not also move because every transaction of the government, it has to be approved and concord by the legislative body. Thank you very much for the support, Vice Governor Oligario and the rest of the board members. Second, to the department heads who really uh, gave their full support and extra mile nga ma-achieve na to ang atong vision for Sambuanga Sibugay. Dagan salamat sa inyong pagtabang, sa inyong cooperation, o sa inyong support. To the employees of the Sambuanga Sibugay Provincial Government, Thank you very much. I know nga I could at least everybody na amang gyapo na to nga di makuha na to ang tanan nga gusto nila. But then again, during my incumbency, I made sure nga unsang benefits nga ang ayan nga ihatag sa empleyado ato yun gihatag para sa welfare o sa kayuhan sa ato mga empleyado. So thank you, my dear co-employees. Salamat sa inyong suporta. To the Sibugaynon who really uh, rally behind me and uh, to my family, of course, uh, thank you very much for all the support. And lastly, to God Almighty who really molded me, guide me, and iyaha uh, kong gigiyahan unsa ang sumbuanga sibugay ug unsa pod ang akong leadership again from the bottom of my heart dagan salamat sa inyong pagsuporta pagsalig kanako and before i'll end uh, let me congratulate each and every one of us on the 21st uh, founding anniversary of the province of sumbuanga sibugay parang kailan lang no uh, dili na to siguro ko nagpabilin ta as part of Sambuanga del Sur, third district of Sambuanga del Sur, hangtang karon wala gyapon ta magingon ani ang probinsya sa Sambuanga Sibugay. And look at, if I may, with all due respect to the provincial government of Sambuanga del Norte, look at the third district of Sambuanga del Norte. Hangtang karon dili gyan mo asenso. Because, wala gana, political bickering between and among the political leaders of Sambuanga del Norte. They wanted to divide the Norte of the 3rd District and create a Sambuanga Hermosa province. But uh, the leadership of the province of Sambuanga del Norte dili musugot. Kay kinsapod mong hari nga imong kuhaan ang imong kingdom, kuhaan ang imong power, o niya ihatang ni mo sa laing na probinsya. So that's what ha happening now in Sambuanga del Norte. So kita, we must just thankful nga ingon ani ang nahitabo sa ato and with this may I uh, express our gratitude to the leaders who really gave their full support nga makreate ang Sambuanga Sibugay. Particularly Governor Rial, nga without him, dili yun unta madayon eh. Okay. Ang the first step is the concurrence of the present governor for the consent nga iyahang i-separate ang Osaka Distrito or part of his province into another district. And a uh, couple of weeks ago, uh, Governor June Rial passed away. Uh, may he rest in peace. I know nga uh, dili kakalimtan sa katawahan sa Sambuanga Sibugay and also Sambuanga del Sur. So, monang nahitabo. Now, we are on our 21st uh, year. Of course, I would like to acknowledge also the leader here in Sambuanga Sibugay uh, for their uh, efforts and dedication in making sure nga mahiya create ang Sambuanga Sibugay particularly the former Governor George T. Hofer, uh, followed by Governor uh, Romel Halosos, and of course, uh, nisunod na kita, no? 
So, sa mga leaders nga nangagi, the vice governor, the board members, salamat sa inyong pagsakripisyo and making sure nga ang Sambuanga Sibugay nag-ingon-ani na because sa inyong hapong pagpaningkamot. Again, uh, let's celebrate the araw ng Sibugay in a in a manner under the new normal nga dili pa gyud nato siya fully ma feel nga back to normal na ta pero hinahinay hopefully uh, before the end of the year wala na tay mga face masks we can go in our uh, daily lives as before hoping nga uh, ang coronavirus will stop and uh, maka-enjoy na ta sa atong kinabuhi Kay luoy na ang mga bata, particularly the education sector, no? Uh, two to three years na naglag behind ta sa education. And we don't want to have our people mo graduate siya of medicine or engineer or lawyer nga kulang ang ilang kakayahan because of the lack of the face-to-face -face, uh, uh, encounter. So hopefully, kung magbalik na ta sa normal, makakats up lang mo, pinaagi sa seminars, trainings, and so on and so forth. Capacity building na lang po ng anyong buhaton. Kasi, ingon na naman ko ng sitwasyon, and let us just be happy and thankful to the Almighty na naspare ta sa maong uh, virus. Again, let me congratulate uh, each and every one of us and happy uh, 21st founding anniversary to the province of Sambuanga, Sibugay. Thank you and mayong hapon kalatong tanan. And by the way, uh, good luck to the TikTokers. Kung giimbitar lang unta ko ninyo nga masayaw, masayaw ginunta ko. As kakwana. And I'm challenging unto Vice Governor Oligario also pero wala man mi ninyo giimbitar. Okay. Pasensya na lang po, no? Di ba, boys? <laughs> Di ba, eh? Sige, the show must go on and let's uh, enjoy and have fun. Thank you. Thank you so much, Governor Palma, for your message. Again, I would like us, everyone, to give him another round of applause for a truly job well done. And now let's move on to our second part of the program. Is everyone ready? Are you ready? Okay, everyone's ready. Let's do the TikTok dance contest. And now, and now I would like to call on Jun Ray El Iberientos, the acting provincial tourism officer, to read the contest mechanics and criteria for judging as well as the introduction of the members of the Board of Judges. A round of applause, please. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. I know everyone is so excited for today's TikTok contest, but let me prolong a little of your excitement. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the rules and the mechanics of the contest. One, the contest is open to all PLTU Zamboanga Sibuga employees, permanent contractual and job orders. Two, one entry per department except for the PEO and the ZSPH. Department heads are encouraged to join the contest. The competition is a group dance. The group shall consist of five to 10 members. The duration of the dance must not be less than two minutes and not more than four, more than four minutes. One point shall be deducted from the total score for every overtime and under time. You can choose any TikTok music, whether single or multiple songs, mixed or mashups, old or new. Order of performance will be determined during the day of the performance through drawing of lots. The contest will be held today, of course, here at the center podium. And, of course, the decision of the Board of Judges is final and irrevocable. The criteria for judging, we have choreography, which includes creativity, artistry, and style, 40%. Execution, which includes timing, projection, and expression, 40%. And the overall impact, which, which includes audience impact and stage presence, 20% for a total of 100%. Of course, we have 
overwhelming prizes. For the best TikTok group, we have 15,000 pesos. For the runner-up, we have 12,000 pesos. And of course, for the consolation prizes, for the non-winning entries, they will be receiving 10,000 pesos. Wow, I'm so excited right now. And of course, to help us determine today's winners, we have our distinguished board of judges. Our first judge is an events specialist and consultant, radio and social personality. Please help me welcome Mayora Palaypay. Our second judge is a sports and performing arts enthusiast, municipal tourism officer, designate of the municipality of Cabasalan. Please put your hands together to Mr. Kyle Nicolas Cabrera. And of course, our third judge and the chairman of the board of judges, a former member of the Jambangan Cultural Dance Troupe, Wemsu, Zamboanga City, advisor of Dr. Aurelio Mendoza Performing Arts, head of Masters of Mentors Dance Company, Zamboanga Sibugay, and the dance troupe coordinator of EPL National High School. Please help me welcome the chairman of the board of judges, Ms. Eileen Flores Pitulan. And for our performers today, yes, we have 24 entries. And let me announce to you the order of the performance. Please take note. And we are requesting the managers to please uh, present or give your music to the sound system operator so that we'll, not, we'll have a smooth flow of performances. The first performer will be the OPAG, followed by the ZSPH Group A and then followed by the Provincial Budget Office. Next would be the Provincial Veterinary Office, PVET. Group 5, or the fifth performer would be the ZSPH Group B, the PCO, and then followed by the Account Accountant's Office, followed by the PENRO, then by PASO, then PLO and IAS, and then the next would be the PPDO, followed by the PHRMO, and then we have the Provincial Vice Governor's Office, then followed by the Sambonga Sibugay Provincial uh, Hospital, Group C. And then we have the IPHO, and followed by the Provincial Sec Secretary, the Legislative, and then followed by PEO Group A, and then back, followed by the PEO Group B, and then the PEO Group C, the PGSO, then followed by the PSWDO, and then the PTO, and the last, but certainly not the least, the PGO and the OPAD. To our entries, congratulations in advance, and good luck to all of you. Okay, everyone's excited? Is everyone excited? Okay, now let's start with the Office of the Provincial Agriculturist. A big round of applause, please. Oh, bug, oh, bug. No. <laughs> Okay.
of the Provincial Agriculture. And now let's call on the representative from the Sambuanga Sibugay Provincial Hospital, Group A. A round of applause, please. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, we are live on Sibugay TV at our FB page and Instagram.
Thank you.
from the province of Bacha Coffee. So once again, another big round of applause. All right, our next participant entry will be from the Provincial Assessor's Office. All right, and please prepare the ZSPH Group B and to be followed by the PCO. Please prepare and please submit your music to the operator. Ladies and gentlemen, the TikTokers from the Provincial Assessor's Office! the Provincial Assessor's Office. And our next entry would be from the ZSPH Group B. ZSPH Group B, are you ready? And of course, please be ready, Provincial Cooperatives Office and the Provincial Accountants Office. Please submit your music. Ang music diri sa likod atubangan. Diri sa front ang sound system nato wala sa likod. All right, please prepare 
After the CSPHB, we have the PCO to be followed by the PACO. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome CHPH Group B. That was from the CSPH Group B. Thank you so much to doctors and nurses. And our next performer is from the Provincial Cooperatives Office. Please be ready, Paco and Penro. Please be ready with your music. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage the Provincial Cooperatives Office. Bisa yang itu TV. 
from the Provincial Accountant's Office. Please prepare Penro and Pivet. Prepare Penro and Pivet. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, on stage, the Provincial Accountant's Office. Accountant's Office. 
All right. Seven down. 18 more to go. And our next performer is from the Penrol. And this would be followed by the Pivot and the PLO and Ayas. Please prepare and submit your music at the operator. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage, Penro! Thank you so much, Penro. And our next performer would be from the Pivot. Please prepare PLO and the PPDO. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome performance from the Pivot. <laughs> Thank you. 
Daghang salamat from the pivot. All right, our next performer is from the PLO and the IAS. And to perform next would be PPDO and PHRMO. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together. For the PLO and the IAS.
Right, thank you so much from the PLO and the IAS. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please so welcome on stage the PPDO. <laughs> And of course, this would be followed by the PHRMO and the Office of the Provincial Vice Governor. Our next performer would be from the PHRMO. And this would be followed by the Office of the Provincial Vice Governor and the CSPH Group C. Please prepare. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Nadie como tú, tú no hay un sustituto Para ese cuerpo tuyo que a mi ama tiene cucu En un rato te busco con el pan That was from the Provincial Vice Governor's Office. And our next performer is the CHP, CSPH Group C. Please prepare IPHO and the Office of the Provincial Secretary. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, three, two, one, attention.
ciclones, mujeres y monos. Que aquí salimos de día, nos fuimos a lo loco, todo el mundo voy a Tiki tac, novinha, fica à vontade. Pode sentar gostosinho na camisinha de chocolate. Tiki tac, novinha, fica à vontade. Pode sentar gostosinho na camisinha de chocolate. Oh, oh. 
Secretary for that energetic and back-breaking dance move. Now let's move on again to Group A of the PEO. All right, we are requesting our participants to please do not yet change your outfits because uh, during the awarding we will not award our winners if you are no longer in your uniform. <laughs> so if you think you are the winner or winners, Please don't you ever change outfits. Alright, so once again, we are live on our FB and Instagram at Sibagay TV. So, kitang kita tayo sa buong probinsya and the whole world universe. Alright, and our next performer is from the Provincial Engineering Office, Group A. While waiting again, back is next, and then Group B of the Provincial Engineer's Office.
Let's hear it again from Group A of the Provincial Engineers Office. Mayong Haipon Sartain and Onya Na and Manda Ankol Sol Motor Pole Division of Karung Haipon Mag Pakatung Kelis Kame Samong. Presentation Advice Lang Nyoko Sol Manda Lula. Anti Mamba Og Dalogo. Bowl Mafal. Special thanks to Lucky Me Pants at Canton, Hopico 3 and 1, Datu Kiti, Pure Say Long, Lormi, Unta Nagging. A big round of applause for that Kidness Overload performance from Group A of the Provincial Engineer's Office. Now let's call on the dancers from back. A round of applause, please. I would like to ask Group B and Group C of the Provincial Engineer's Office to get ready. Yeah. 
Again, get ready, Group C of the same office and PGSO. J. Mark on your Thank you. 
esse rabetão, ela já tá louca. Pode aquecer a minha no cabo. Thank you. 
Colon, Office of PSWDO. Also, I'd like to remind, next up is the PTO followed by the last but of course not the least, PGO OPA. Money, 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 must be money in the rich man's world. Money, 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 must be money in the rich man's world. 
mente abusada. Só que a profissão das minas é... Pag naririg mo to, lasa ko Pagka kami nang hinahala ko Pamparam, 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 pamparam Sumabay lang sa bayo sa pakiram Pamparam, pamparam, pamparam Gawa namin ito habang bilog din abot Sumabay lang sa bayo sa pakiram Pamparam, 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 pamparam Pag naririg mo to, lasa ko Pag naririg mo to, lasa ko Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Ay, 
Administrator again. Are did we have fun watching all those TikTokers? Yeah. Did you have a good laugh? Yay! And now. We'll wait for our board of judges to add up all the scores. Just a reminder of what was announced earlier for all dancers to keep their costumes on for the awarding. If you think that your group is the winner, please keep your costumes on. All right, we're not yet done with the program this afternoon, so we are still waiting for the results. And as been said earlier we require our winners to wear their costumes upon claiming their big big prizes <laughs> all right and again we are live at our fb page and instagram at sibugay tv so we are live provincial province wide worldwide and in the whole universe so nababantanan Bito bi mag roll call daw ta sa audience impact. All right, na pa ba matao sa PGO? All right, boy na boy. What about the provincial accountants of it? Let me hear from the IPHO. All right, what about from the Office of the Vice Governor and the Office of the Secretary. What about from the Sambanga Sibugay Provincial Hospital? Ayan, ang dami pa rin nila. <laughs> Alright, what about from the Provincial Engineering Office? Oh, let me hear also from the PHRMO. Let me hear also from the office of the agriculturist <laughs> to against the world. What about from the provincial assessor's office? Ayan. What about from the PPDO? Ayan, buhay na buhay. Let me hear from the PLO and IAS. <laughs> All right, so what about from the PTO? Oh, napaghihapon sila. At my back, it's a panadere. What about from the budget office? All right, so buhay na buhay pa ang lahat. All right, so while we are waiting for the results, let us hear from this Samwanga Sibugay Provincial Band. What about from the pivot? Are you still around? And the Penro. <laughs> Hello. Naranisa sa likod, no? All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the Zambonga Sibugay Band.
Tuhan. Hey, hey, sa. Alright, wala pa kayo mga kamay dyan. Konting palakpakan naman po. Yes, yes. Hi, Piang. Uh, Teresa. Okay, I'd like to inform each and everyone this is already our third set for today, but we do hope that you will enjoy the songs that we prepared for you this afternoon. So, uh, as of the moment, we're uh, encountering some technical difficulties. We do apologize for the inconvenience. Well, anyway, just stand by. Wake me up inside. Wake me 